the derivation of a horizontal parabola is also neat. Um, and so we're just going to kind of build that one up. I'm going to put a vertex here. Um, we're going to call that HK again. <coughs> and I'm going to put a focus here with a distance of C and then a directrix um, as a dotted line. I'll put it in a different color down here uh, with a distance of C here. And the coordinates of the focus here are going to, here, let me kind of move this over here. Coordinates of the focus are going to be basically uh, just a little bit more than h, that's going to be h plus c, comma k. And the coordinates of the directrix uh, are going to be x um, equals, and that's, let's see, x equals, this would be h minus c. So you should kind of convince yourself of that. And if you go back up and look at the top, it was k that we were changing. And now it's h, because we have things oriented a little bit differently. So that's going to give us an equation for um, what this is going to be. Now, just like before, I'm going to pick an arbitrary xy point on here. And I'm going to say, I want to get the distance from that. Let me move this up a little bit. From that to here, and that to the director. So I want to get the distance from this arbitrary xy point all the way to the vertex, and then all the way to a point on the directrix. So I need to figure out what that point is here. And I'm going to call that point, um, that's going to be x, uh, h minus c, comma, and that has the same y value as the point right here. So doing that, uh, let's do the distances. Uh, my first one is going to be the distance from this one, from that arbitrary point xy to hk, so x minus h squared plus uh, y minus k squared. That's the distance to the, oh, just kidding. We don't want to do that. We want to do the distance to the focus. Almost got that wrong. So distance to the focus and distance to the directrix. Um, so I'm going to do that in darker color. So distance to the focus, that one, is going to be, let's erase this. It's going to be x minus h plus c squared plus and then y minus k squared. And that's going to be equal to, and then let's do this distance here, x minus parentheses h minus c squared plus uh, y minus y squared. So very similar to the one we just did up above. So if I work this out uh, and start, well, start working it out, I'm going to square this left side. So I get x squared uh, minus 2 times x times h plus c. Then plus, I'm going to have h plus c squared. Then plus, uh, I'm going to keep that as y minus k squared equals, and then I'm going to foil this, x squared minus, this is going to be 2x h minus c plus, and this is going to be h minus c squared. And then the y minus y squared drops out. So when let's clean this up, I'm going to have x squared minus 2xh minus 2xc plus h squared plus 2hc plus c squared. Uh, and then plus, let's keep that as y minus k squared equals, and this is going to be x squared minus 2xh plus 2xc plus h squared minus 2hc plus c squared. Look for the things that drop out again. Uh, the x squareds are gone. The negative 2xh's are gone, the uh, h squareds are gone, and the c squareds are gone. So let's move all the x stuff over to the right side and move all the non-x stuff over to the left side. So if I move this over, I'm going to have 4hc. Then I still have plus y minus k squared. And if I move this over, I have equals to uh, 4xc. Sorry, 4xc. Divide through by a 4c, 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 um, and then that's going to cancel, and, oops, uh, yeah, sorry, that's going to cancel, and this is going to cancel. If I flip it around, I have x is equal to 1 over 4c, y minus k squared, plus h. So just like before, I have an a value here that's not really an a value, it's now considered a 1 over 4c value because c to us now has meaning.